Imagine a court where artificial intelligence drafts verdicts. Flying taxis with no pilots carrying real passengers through city skies. Paralyzed people controlling robotic arms with nothing but their thoughts. And deep underground, scientists sustaining temperatures six times hotter than the core of the sun. Sounds futuristic, right? But this isn't some distant future or a Hollywood movie. This is China in 2025, and these 10 innovations feel like someone opened a portal to 50 years from now and started pulling technology through. China isn't just building the future anymore. In these 10 areas, it feels like they're living in it while the rest of the world is still catching up. Number 10. Super app running your entire life. Imagine waking up, opening one app on your phone, and using it to pay your bills, message your friends, order breakfast, book a doctor's appointment, renew your driver's license, file your taxes, check into the subway, and buy concert tickets, all without ever leaving that single app. That's not a concept. That's daily life for hundreds of millions of people in China, thanks to super apps like WeChat. This isn't just a messaging app with a few extra features. It's a full digital operating system for your real-world existence. During the pandemic, WeChat health codes became mandatory for travel, proving the government and private tech could merge seamlessly into one interface. Banking, insurance, legal documents, government forms, ride-hailing, food delivery, it all flows through a single ecosystem where your phone becomes the remote control for reality. In most of the world, you juggle five apps to do what WeChat does in one. China turned the smartphone into something closer to a digital citizenship card. And once you experience that level of integration, going back feels like time traveling in reverse. Number 9. 20-Story Robotic Vertical Farm Now imagine a building 20 stories tall where food grows on every floor, harvested by robots, monitored by artificial intelligence, and managed without a single human touching the plants. Welcome to China's unmanned vertical farm in Chengdu the world's first fully robotic plant factory, producing fresh vegetables faster, cleaner, and more efficiently than traditional farms ever could. Robots plant seeds, adjust lighting, control water and nutrients, monitor growth, harvest crops, and package them for delivery, all autonomously. The AI system cycles through over 1,000 different light combinations, tailored to 72 types of crops, optimizing every stage of growth. Traditional farms take months and depend on weather, soil, and luck. This system produces over 10 harvests per year in a controlled, predictable environment. As the planet warms and farmable land shrinks, this kind of facility stops being a novelty and starts looking like survival infrastructure. China isn't waiting for the food crisis to arrive. It's already building the solution inside urban skyscrapers where farms don't need fields, seasons, or sunshine. Number 8. AI Judges and Smart Courts Walk into a Chinese courtroom today, and there's a good chance an artificial intelligence system is sitting in the background, analyzing the case, recommending legal precedents, drafting documents, and even suggesting verdicts. By the end of 2025, every court in China was required to have AI systems integrated into their workflow, and judges are required to provide written explanations if they disagree with the AI's recommendations. These systems don't just assist, they actively shape outcomes. AI identifies errors and verdicts, flags inconsistencies, and recommends sentences based on thousands of previous rulings. Between 2019 and 2021, these smart court systems saved over 1.7 billion working hours and reduced judges' workloads by more than a third. For simpler cases, the AI drafts most of the legal work. Humans just validate and sign off. Some see efficiency and fairness through consistency. Others see justice handled by algorithms with humans reduced to quality control. Either way, this is happening at national scale right now, and it's a glimpse of what courtrooms everywhere might look like in a decade, whether we're ready for it or not. Number 7. Quantum Communication Satellites Here's where things start feeling like science fiction. China operates satellites in orbit that use quantum entanglement, pairs of photons linked in ways that defy normal physics, to create communication channels that are nearly impossible to hack. Intercept the signal, and the quantum state collapses, instantly alerting both ends that someone tried to eavesdrop. It's encryption that operates on the laws of quantum mechanics instead of just math. These aren't lab experiments anymore. China has deployed quantum communication links between cities and satellites, building the backbone of what could become an unhackable national communication network. For governments, militaries, and banks, this technology represents the ultimate secure line, a channel where the universe itself protects your data. Other countries are researching quantum tech but China turned it into infrastructure first. While most of the world is still testing quantum systems in controlled environments, China is already using them to send real data through real networks. It's the kind of leap that makes you wonder what else is being built in secret that we won't hear about for years. Number 6. City-Scale Drone Swarms 
15,947 drones. Look up at the night sky in Beijing on October 18, 2025, and you would have seen something unreal. Nearly 16,000 drones moving in perfect formation, painting images across the darkness like a living, three-dimensional digital canvas. This wasn't just a show. It was a demonstration of coordination, control, and computing power on a scale the world had never seen. Every single drone knew its exact position, trajectory, and relationship to thousands of neighbors in real time, all controlled by a single computer. One miscalculation, one software glitch, and the sky would have turned into chaos. But it didn't. The precision was flawless. And while the world watched in awe, military strategists, logistics companies, and tech firms took notes. Because the same software that creates art in the sky can coordinate deliveries, disaster response, or battlefield operations. In the US, drone shows exist, but nothing close to this scale or frequency. China didn't just break a world record. It proved that swarm intelligence, thousands of machines acting as one, is no longer theoretical. It's deployable, scalable, and ready for whatever comes next. Number five, pilotless flying taxis in regular service. Imagine calling a ride on your phone, but instead of a car pulling up, a giant drone lands in front of you, opens its doors, and lifts you into the sky. No pilot, no runway, just you and the machine. That's not a concept video. That's happening in Chinese cities right now with the Ehang 216S, the world's first certified pilotless passenger-carrying aircraft. Since January 2025, these electric vertical takeoff flying taxis have been carrying real passengers on real routes over real cities. The computer handles everything, takeoff, navigation, collision avoidance, and landing. You sit back, rise above the traffic, cruise at over 80 miles per hour, and touch down minutes later without ever sitting in gridlock. It's quiet, emissions-free, and turns the sky into your personal highway. In most countries, flying taxis are still stuck in regulatory limbo, test flights, and investor pitch decks. In China, they're certified, operational, and taking passengers. The future of urban mobility isn't coming someday, it's hovering a few hundred feet above Chinese streets right now, and the rest of the world is still figuring out how to get permission to try. Number four, humanoid factory workers at scale. For years, humanoid robots were impressive tech demos, walking, balancing, maybe doing a backflip for the cameras. In China, that era just ended. Full-size humanoid robots are now working real factory jobs at companies like BYD, Foxconn, Geely, and Dongfeng, doing the kind of repetitive physical labor humans have done for decades. These aren't static robotic arms bolted to assembly lines. These are bipedal machines that walk, lift boxes, handle delicate components, inspect products, and solve problems autonomously. Their AI systems let them plan tasks, adapt to changes, and recover from errors without constant human oversight. And the scale is staggering. Hundreds of units deployed already, with plans for thousands more in the coming years. In the West, humanoid robots make headlines with viral videos of parkour and dancing. In China, they're clocking in for shifts and doing the boring, essential work that keeps factories running. America leads in flashy prototypes, China leads in putting robots to work. And once these machines prove they're cheaper, faster, and more reliable than human labor, the employment landscape changes forever. Number three, nationwide brain-computer interfaces for patients. Controlling a computer with your thoughts sounds like telepathy, but it's technology, and it's helping real people right now. China's Beinao One wireless brain-computer interface successfully implanted chips in multiple patients in 2025, allowing them to control robotic arms, type words on screens, and interact with the world using nothing but their neural signals. Videos show people with cerebral palsy using a robotic arm to pour water into a cup and typing Chinese characters directly from their thoughts. No keyboard, no voice, just brain signals translated into action. For people trapped in bodies that won't move or mouths that won't speak, this technology represents freedom, dignity, and proof that the gap between mind and machine is closing fast. Plans are moving forward to enroll 50 patients in formal clinical trials in 2026, with the ultimate goal of restoring communication and control to people who've lost it. This isn't just medical innovation. It's the beginning of a world where the boundary between human thought and digital action starts to blur. And once that line disappears, everything changes. Number two, battery swap EV civilization. Here's where it all comes together. 
China didn't just build electric cars, it built an entire ecosystem that controls the mines, refines the materials, manufactures the batteries, assembles the vehicles, and operates thousands of swap stations where depleted battery packs are replaced with fresh ones in under three minutes, while you stay in the car. Brands like NIO operate over 2,000 automated swap stations across China, completing millions of battery swaps. Pull up, the system recognizes your car, the platform lifts it, robots unbolt the old pack, slide in a fully charged one, and you drive off faster than most people spend at a gas station. Range anxiety doesn't exist. Charging cables are optional. The entire refueling experience feels borrowed from a future where gasoline is a historical curiosity. But it's not just the swap stations. It's the vertical integration. China controls over 70% of global battery production, dominates the supply chain from raw materials to recycling, and produces more EV models than the rest of the world combined. This isn't one invention. It's an entire civilization-scale shift in how transportation works, and the rest of the world is years behind trying to copy pieces of a system China already perfected. Number one, artificial sun, East Reactor. And now, the big one. Deep inside a research facility in Hefei, China, scientists are doing something that sounds impossible. They're building a star on Earth. The East Reactor, Experimental Advanced Superconducting Tokamak, sustained plasma at 100 million degrees Celsius for over 1,000 seconds. To put that in perspective, the core of the real sun is only 15 million degrees. China's artificial sun is six times hotter. Why build something this extreme? Because this is nuclear fusion, the same process that powers stars. Unlike fission, which splits atoms and creates dangerous waste, fusion smashes atoms together, releasing massive energy with minimal waste and zero greenhouse gases. It's the holy grail of energy, unlimited, clean, safe power that could change everything. The challenge has always been keeping plasma that hot for long enough to be useful. China just held it for nearly 18 minutes straight, shattering world records. If fusion becomes practical, energy scarcity becomes ancient history. No more coal plants, no more oil wars, no more climate crises fueled by burning carbon. Just clean fusion power mimicking the stars themselves, running civilization for millennia. China's artificial sun isn't just an experiment. It's humanity's bridge to an energy revolution that could redefine what's possible, and they're building it right now, while the rest of the world watches in awe. The future isn't coming. It's already here. It's just unevenly distributed. China took that uneven distribution and decided to speed run a decade's worth of breakthroughs in a single year. From brain chips to flying taxis, from robot workers to fusion reactors, these 10 inventions prove that the gap between science fiction and daily reality is closing faster than most people realize. So what do you think? Which of these 10 innovations shocked you the most? And which one do you wish existed in your country right now? Where are you watching from? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And if you want more deep dives into the technologies reshaping our world, make sure to like this video, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next one. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the future.